Today, we are looking at the rear seats and cargo area of the 2019 BMW X7. So how luxurious and spacious are the back seats? Let's go ahead and find out. But let's move on to the rear seats and see what kind of amenities you get back here. The door panel will be the same with the soft touch plastic and the weather. You also have controls for your left sunshade and your right sunshade. These will be power operated. Also, you can control the shade for your own panoramic sunroof, and the seats will be made of the same merino leather with heating and power adjusting. There are also these really nice pillows on your headrest. Inside of the X7, I have a good amount of legroom, although not as much as something else in the class like a Mercedes GLS or Cadillac Escalade, and there is a seat back pocket. This material can be cleaned very easily, and instead of an entertainment screen, there is an iPad mount and a USB-C port. There are a lot more USB-C ports than you'll ever need, with two more down here, another one on the other side, and a power outlet. There are also two cup holders and a large X7 brand. There's more storage and a forest on a climate control with the buttons for your heated seats. Overall, this is really nice, and you also get your own ambient lighting. To get into the third row, it's not that hard, but it does take a long time. You're going to pull this and then move the seat forward, and it's going to power adjust out of the way. While power seats are really nice, they do take a long time to give you access into the third row. If you forgot to fold up the third row, there are buttons right here to do just that. Now in the third row of the BMW X7, I don't have that much legroom because this third row is intended for kids. There's a lot of leather, ambient lights, wood trim, a cup holder on each side, and you'll also find a USB-C port and a tie-down hook under this right here. There is also a lot of amenities up on the ceiling. You get a fifth zone of climate control, buttons for your heated seats, and it doesn't stop there because there is your own power sunroof. There is a power shade, but it doesn't open up, which is completely fine with me. This is something that you don't see every day, and not even the Mercedes GLS offers something like this. Now let's take a look at the cargo area because this is also very important to the BMW X7. To open up the first part of the trunk, there's a switch in the normal spot. Of course, in typical BMW fashion, there is a clamshell opening. That gives you a bench for tailgating like in a pickup truck. Inside the trunk, there is a 12 volt outlet on the right side and on the left side you'll find switches to power fold down the third row. Behind the third row, you'll find 12.8 cubic feet of trunk space and a false bottom. There's also a netted cubby on the right side. Behind the second row, you'll find 48.6 cubic feet and 90.6 as a maximum. With the optional captain's chairs, the second row can fold flat like the GLS. Keep in mind, all the competition will offer more space in all three configurations.